Without values, your business lacks direction and achieving your goals is going to seem impossible. I'm here with Lindsay Harlkadatz and we are going to be speaking about values, all things values. Now, Lindsay, I'm going to give you a moment to, to introduce yourself, to give a little snippet about what you're all about and what really matters to you. Right now? Right now. So, okay. right now. You're on the spot. <laughs> we, we are going. Right now. All right. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay Harl Kadatz, owner of BRP Consulting, because businesses are people too. Um, and what am I all about? I'm all about values. Uh, I'm all about bringing values and making cultures really connect with the values in action and what that is. That's perfect. I, and surely, I mean, I, I say perfect. I say that all the time. It's funny because I don't believe in perfection. No. I don't think that that exists, but mm -hmm. in a moment it can feel so true and in alignment mm -hmm. that it perfect is the, the best word for it in the moment. And speaking of which, I want to talk about that sensation of alignment because I can say that now with certainty that I, it, feels right. But that's because I'm in touch with my values because I've, I've done the time. So I want to take a moment to ask you a little bit more about values and why they're important and why they're not just fluffy, pretty sprinkles that you put on a cake. They actually taste good too. Mm, mm. <laughs> yes. Well, I do say that values are the tasty mental prune juice that allows our brain to flow properly. So I do love that you say that they're tasty, but not just sprinkles but they actually have flavor as they do um so values themselves golly gosh where do you start so i come from a marketing background as you know and i've come across and heck i've even developed my own fair share of fluffy values marketing statements where it sounds great but you don't know what they look like in action and it wasn't until i had to sit down and understand what my own personal values were that i realized holy gosh, these things have power. And that's because ultimately what our values are, they are our underlying beliefs upon which we take action. And that's Not just action, word. but aligned action. Yeah. There you go. Action. Because everybody, I mean, we're here to talk about marketing and I do believe very mm -hmm. firmly that we are never not marketing. And so it it tracks, it tracks that if your values are not in alignment with who you are, if you've, if you've invented these values in your business, mm -hmm. um, just for the sake of having them, then those actions become so much harder to take. Yeah. Right. So that's so, okay. I see. So that's where you're coming from. And, and that said, I know you said that you, you had your own reasons for having to kind of dive into those values and to kind of bring them out. Mm -hmm. Um, what are some different reasons other than making fluffy vi vision statements and all that stuff and, and actually hunkering them down in the, in the space of action? What are some other circumstances that you can express to us that where it's, it's literally the most important part of how you're showing up is really understanding where your values come from? Mm -hmm. So it, there's, there's really kind of two answers to this. And one is more individual, but, and the other is more uh, business company cultural. Um, but they are very similar from the individual perspective. A lot of the times for me personally, um, having to get connected and understand what my own personal values were in taking action and taking alignment, uh, was about my mental health. And because I was living a life that was in good values, operating from good values, but were not my values ultimately. And because of that, um, I just was a shell of a human. When I was able to understand, oh my goodness, these are what my actual values are. I'm not taking any action on them in my day-to-day -day world, in my month-to-month -month world, in any aspect. I'm not living a good life. I don't know how to make decisions. I don't know how to have a voice. I don't know how to have opinions. And when I was starting to get clear on what my real core values were and what they looked like in action, I was able to overcome a lot of the mental health struggles that I was having at the time. And that's not to say I'm all great now. I do still have um, ups and downs and depressive waves and ebbs and flows. But 
because I know my own personal values and what they look like in action, I do not stay in those dips as long as I had. And as long as I had was a decade before I had asked for help. But now it's a few days, maybe a week at most. But I'm able to work my way forward and act my way forward by understanding what actions are my values as opposed to what are just actions that will get me moving. Yeah, no, that, that makes that core of myself. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and what, what was interesting about that for me is that immediately I thought you had separated this personal from business and, and immediately I thought these are the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. These are the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah. Well, and, and so I think it's, and, and you're absolutely right because again, businesses are people. And when I look at a business, because I'm a business consultant, um, I look at a business as a business entity. So this is the business is a body at that boardroom table who has its own thoughts, feelings, emotions, decisions, all of that. When a company has its values written down, and they don't know what they look like in action, then the company has tends to struggle more in when we're facing a challenge, what is that right decision for us to move forward? What is that right path? Who are the right people that we bring in? Who are the right projects that we take on? Um, and and like, who are the right vendors that we associate ourselves with? What do we stand for as a company? How do we... Um, communicate that across to our great to our people how do we even as a company internally so all the different departments our organs communicate with one another so that this business body is operating optimally and consistently in the same fashion and and reinforcing the right behaviors right for the environment that we're in and you know i want to I feel like I was doing this in my mind. So I want to express this. Every time you said right, mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's that that notion of right for for them, right? Yes. So, and that means we're subbing in the word maybe aligned, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. An aligned client, an aligned communication style, and a, taking aligned action. And yep. what and the reason I want to just kind of stress that verbiage is because when you're in alignment, mm -hmm your path to your goal is a lot more direct. Yeah. So you can get there faster. You can get there more efficiently, more effectively. And yeah. that's where we look at the way values directly impacts as a business, your, your bottom line, truly your yeah. body, the way it's run. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, thank you. Because that is a huge, a huge piece as well is how you define your value is your definition. Now, somebody else may have that same value with a very different definition. And it doesn't mean that their definition, definition, I always get that word messed up, is wrong. It means that it's their definition and it's right for them. Right. So they're in alignment that way. And so it, it, it becomes that we can't really judge each other's values and definitions yet we have to look at are our actions in alignment with our definition are our people understanding our definition of this value particularly if they've come from another company who's had a similar value yet a very different definition that's huge so it, it's is there that alignment perfect as you that the perfect word that you that you said shared thank you that people understand so that now they know I am in this business entity and this is the way that we do things around here. And that it's true externally for the company and it's true internally for the company. So is there that alignment in all facets as we're not giving one face to the public and another behind the scenes, but we're, we're the same across, yeah. across all aspects. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that and that makes perfect sense for your success within your business. And then how, again, you know, we're, we're in a marketing space here. We're yeah. talking about how are we portraying that? So I just imagine the scenario whereby, you know, you market yourself as a very 
family oriented business and you're telling consumers Mm -hmm. that you're family oriented and you care about your people. I know a couple of big box stores who like to do this. And then internally, Mm -hmm. there's a misalignment. Mm -hmm. Right. You're hearing previous staff um, on mass saying, no, we were not treated fairly. We were not respected for the time that we require to spend with our families with downtime to rejuvenate ourselves. When we struggled with our mental health or 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 finances or something, there was no allowance there. And they're telling the public this. And now we have a misalignment between Mm -hmm. what the public is seeing, what they're touting in these fluffy mission statements and what they're actually doing. And what I'm hearing is that that's that right there can impact your business large scale. Goodness gracious. Yes. And I mean, there are so many stories, pardon me, apparently I'm verklempt right now. There are so many stories where uh, out there where great somebody word, by the has, way. great word <laughs> I had to honor that word for a moment <laughs> you know what as as a fellow word nerd I appreciate you honoring the word for clump perfect <laughs> sorry go on That's no good. no but <laughs> but we hear these stories and in fact many of us have also experienced we've looked into the company we want to work at this company we we love what they stand for or say they stand for we've worked so hard we interview well we're super duper excited we get in there and then all of a sudden we realize holy poop this company is nothing like i imagined it would be and then they resign shortly thereafter or they don't make it through that typical 90 day um not trial probation period right right and then and that impacts that bottom line of the company and so if there's this lack of consistency uh, between what they're purporting to say they value and what they actually value internally there's higher turnover there's horrid word of mouth from your current employees and your 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 past employees as well so what is that then doing to your overall reputation regardless of what it is your marketing team is putting out there so it's important that it's not just marketing for marketing's sake. Right. It's understanding what the real DNA of the business is and owning what you are and owning who you are and then putting that out there. Because again, nothing's right nor wrong here, but mm-hmm. it's owning who you are and making sure that that is true so that you attract the right person people that you attract the people who are most aligned with what it is that you stand for because then you'll have less tone tone over or turnover <laughs> turnovers are delicious yeah <laughs> <laughs> but they're not good for business guys they're not mm. good for business we do not want to see that happening no, no that makes that makes perfect sense yeah yeah but that can feel hard though right of course it can yeah the, the well, idea of doing that inner work like number one if yeah. it can it sounds hard sounds extensive, sounds scary even. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can Mm -hmm. imagine, you know, as a CEO who hasn't done the work and you go, yeah, but I thought I knew, but I'm seeing this disconnect. Like when do, when is it that you're finding people are realizing this? Like, what is the thing that you should be looking for as your red flag that says, whoa, 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 holy Hannah, something's not in alignment. I I need to do some work here. What what are you seeing in that space so that we can kind of take people on the journey of one, recognize where, where does that live? Now, first off and foremost, I hope people are saying, holy Hannah, we are not aligned here. <laughs> There's a disconnect. Well, I heard golly goodness earlier. So, yeah. hey, you know what? Holy Hannah, golly goodness, super califragilistic expialidocious. We're going to do them all. Mm-hmm. So, honest to goodness, one of the biggest red flags, not really red flags, but indicators for me in my world is we need to get our messaging aligned. We need a rebrand or we need a brand refresh. And very rarely when we go into those conversations, does it focus the messaging one? Okay. That's fine. Often that's just getting people at the table, having a conversation with an objective ear Mm -hmm. because people have talked so much to one another. They often don't hear the actual connections that are being made. But with a brand refresh or a rebrand, often this is an indicator that there's something 
very disconnecting under the surface, under the surface. Yeah. And there's a deeper cultural misalignment that needs to be addressed so that you don't just waste all your money on this amazing brand refresh only to have it sit on the shelf mm -hmm. and be like, well, we did this really good exercise. Nothing's come of it. It was, it was good fun to take an afternoon to talk about our values, right? Our values. It's, it's more, that. let's take the afternoon and talk about what's working for us, what is not working, and invite people to that table and have that conversation. Now, a lot of that does take a lot of being okay to, to quiet your ego for a bit. Because it's very rarely about attacking an individual or the leader of the company saying, you did this, you're not doing this, blah, 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 blah. It's about here's just what's not working. Here are different ways to do things because no company succeeds on the back of one person. And how in the world can a leader or a CEO, a business owner think that they have to get this business to succeed all on their own? No one will do that. No one can do that. So yeah. lean on your people because they know. They know and they want to have a say in what is and isn't working. What can continue? What should be stopped? Or, or how do we redefine what our actual values are if this is just what we're saying, but we're not actually living it? I mean, the values very well could be the actual values. But until it's clarified what this looks like in action, how is it woven throughout processes and operations and the different business models itself, there's going to be that disconnect. There's the action. Mm -hmm. There's the action. And that's where I'm seeing, okay, so people are, are, are missing that step. Mm -hmm. They're seeing, they're just, they're just sim either simply not taking it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or they don't know how to. So, so there's the next question though, is like, how, how do they get to that point? What's, what is their next step after they've recognized this, they've recognized there's a problem and they see that there's that disconnect. Mm -hmm. How do they start living more in alignment with their values? Hold each other. Well, okay. So there's obviously this is very, you got to customize it to, well, what's the actual problem as to why is there this disconnect? Is it that people, is there's a lack of clarity there's no accountability to living to them. There's, you know, one leader that I supported, for instance, in, in helping them really clarify what their values were, mm -hmm. said, oh, you mean I, I can fire based on these values? And after a long conversation of no, go and talk to an employment lawyer, talk to an HR professional. We're talking brand values right now in action, which impacts your culture you have to do a few things. And one of those core things is, is your leadership team all in alignment? And are they all owning their responsibility in living these values in front of your people? Because if one of them is not, then this is all for naught. So make sure that the leadership team is all on board and willing to hold each other accountable in being called out if they are not. It's not to say no one can never make a misstep. That's just not reality. It's what do you do after that misstep? Do you continue to make that misstep? Do you apologize? Do you own what, why it happened and then get back on the path to, okay, now this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Do you sit down with your people? So if it's a, like one of the companies I work with, we were able to get the values together defined. And then we got the team, a small IT company, of like 12, 12 to 15, got them all in a room for an afternoon, went through, here's the values. What do these all mean to you? So that there's consistency and conversation around what these all mean as the organization. And so that not one person's thinking way off here. Well, everybody's over here, you can, over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then you got to take it further and say, okay, so in your roles, in your responsibilities, how do these values act out? In the processes that we're developing, what value is the foundation of this? What value is being built into this? Mm. In a challenge, because, and I've said this so many times, it's easy to live our values when things are going well. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. But when we come up against challenges and obstacles, 
what will get us through in a way that is true to us? How will we maintain our integrity in our values and showcase that? So that when someone says, but you said this is your value and you say, yeah, and this is how it ties in. This is the action that we need to take. This is the path that we need to take. This is why we're going with this proposal instead of this one, because it's not necessary, because very rarely do proposals go forth because who's cheapest, unless that's the value of the company, right? It's what are those small little minutia within the proposals yeah. that connect on that deeper uh, culture base, on that deeper values base. And the and so, how. And the, yeah, and, and so what I'm, what I'm hearing, and, and we have to come to a close very soon, but what I'm hearing here is that another layer of what you're bringing when you're, when you're talking to people about values and culture is this, the importance, stressing, stressing the importance of communication yeah. and vulnerability within that space, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a, I mean, we're going to chat about this 100% on another day. We're going to talk about communication. And in particular, one of your specialties is listening, mm -hmm. which is a massive conversation that will take us into a double episode. So we're going to do that on another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will. I know uh -huh. we will dive in and you won't, you'll have to fish us out. You'll just have to, somebody will have to fish us out. We'll, we'll figure that out at, at, at a later time, but for the time being, I wanted to ask you uh, how, if somebody's listening to this and going, oh my gosh, this is me. Oh my gosh, I'm, there's this disconnect is happening. I've recognized that. I know I need to improve upon my communication and I need to articulate the connection between my values and my actions for myself, let alone my team and my, my marketing and my trajectory and my business. And they're sitting here and they're going, oh gosh, oh gosh, help. Mm -hmm. How does somebody reach out to you? Okay. So few ways, but the best way is to go to my website uh, at brpconsulting.ca slash work underscore with underscore me, and then hit the button that says book a call and we can book a call and um, have a conversation about the what and the why and the what is really going on and why, why there's this disconnect. That's beautiful. That's what? easy, easy. Like if this, if you're sitting there and you're thinking that like, this is the thing to do right now is mm -hmm. literally one click away, right? Get on the website, yeah. click it, you're done. And you can all of a sudden just feel the weight release. And, <laughs> and it, I, I know, I know, I know firsthand. It's just so, so beautiful when you get to that point. So absolutely, okay. if you're feeling that way, contact Lindsay, because she is more than just what she claims to be. Trust me, you want to know more about her and you will through this podcast and other spaces, but Fast track it, guys. Just fast track it and get to know her on her website. <laughs> I do want to say you hit on such a powerful thing, too, is that it is so hard to really understand what your company's values are unless you know what your values are. So it's it's about really going inward, both in the company and yourself. So I think that's a huge, if there's one thing that I would want people to take away with, other than book a call with me, um, <laughs> is <laughs> recognize that if you're going to do the work on your business, that you absolutely have to do the work on yourself as well. Well, I was going to ask you to share your last tidbit. So you just kind of oh. did it already for me, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> because we truly really, like your like your business you know businesses are people too that's what brp right and that's what i'm all about i'm always talking to people about how we are all humans first mm -hmm. you are never not marketing mm -hmm. so take care of yourself and the people around you because that's what's going to really drive everything forward in both life and business and if you want to know uh, any more about this because we're going to be diving into a lot of different topics then make sure that you subscribe to this podcast and watch for next week's video because it's going to be coming out every single week from i don't know here on out <laughs> <laughs> really we're, we're, you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna be sick of me all right so <laughs> with that i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and we will chat soon see you loon see, see you loon <laughs>